the Trailblazer process has engaged a number of um, employers um, in, in a very productive process in terms of reviewing the standards. Um, however, there are some concerns about that. Certainly, it's very difficult to get small businesses involved in those discussions, uh, and inevitably, those discussions have been dominated by the larger uh, employers. Um, having said that, what I think we do need is an overall management of the whole process. We've had lots of different employer groups coming together, uh, and our view is that we need to bring that together, have a much more standardised approach, so that when we finish the process of reviewing the standards, it will look coherent and clear, and we can explain that to people outside of our sector, like schools, like parents, so that we have a system that covers the whole, uh, whole range of sectors, um, but we can see how they all fit together. Well, all of the um, main political parties support apprenticeships, and that's a very strong position to be in. Um, but they've all set different targets, and it's quite difficult to know, you know how they're going to deliver that. Uh, what's clear is that I think they all recognise that um, with a greater commitment to numbers uh, of apprenticeships, you do need a greater investment both by government and by employers. So any of the changes that they are looking at need to make sure that we can engage even more employers and not create barriers to it. We have got some concerns that some of the changes that are being proposed will indeed uh, create some barriers to entry, particularly for small businesses. So we've made some recommendations how we can simplify the funding system to make sure that we can engage more employers. And I believe that with um, the additional investment from government, and the additional commitment from employers, we can certainly increase the programme and hit the sort of numbers that we uh, have heard governments talking about uh, and the other political parties. Having said that, this shouldn't be a chase for numbers. It's got to be done in, in a coherent way and make sure that the quality of apprenticeships is maintained. Well, I mean, currently the um, apprenticeship frameworks are funded by all the individual qualifications that you deliver. And I think in, in, in other areas of our sector, we're moving towards programme funding, where an apprenticeship can be given a single f fee um, and you have to deliver everything that the apprenticeship requires in that within that single fee. So that would simplify it. Um, and in that way, we can make sure that employers understand the funding system and therefore get their commitment. Um, and if we can do some of those things, I think we can hit those sorts of targets.